Thank you all. Uh, for those of you that haven't met yet, I'm Michelle Basic, the executive director of America's Resource for Social Responsibility. We are absolutely thrilled to have the event here tonight. This is fantastic. Ready, set, go. At Timberland, we offer up to 48 hours each year to serve and help each of our employees. Our challenge was to increase the number of service hours during the work week. When our employees' primary reason for not serving is their lack of time, we addressed this challenge. We brought service into the office. Here's how it went. Come serve with us, we said. We're too busy, they said. Deadlines, meetings, project to the letter. How can we continue to make it better? Listen, plan, respond. Bring the service to our community. No commute, no excuse. It's the perfect opportunity. Plant a garden out front and watch it grow. It's sort of in-house, you know. Their hands get dirty, they see their fruit, raising $2,500 to boot. Little girls need dresses, because they have none. Come help us make some. 56 dresses sewn in just one day. I have a feeling a few more are on their way. Knit, crochet, write to the troops, craft your best. All within a few steps of that ever calling desk. Joy was spread, smiles abound, chatter about service was all around. Engagement went up, service was embraced. That put a smile on my boss's face. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to your community. They're telling you what they need. Listening, planning, and responding to their asks is the key. Make service simple, keep it fun. Why not plan your event? It just starts with one. For us, that's twofold. That means helping the earth, but it also means helping move 10,000 families and people in Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont out of poverty to make our communities more sustainable. We do that in part through our workforce programs. One of those is Good Clean Property Services, which cleans retail locations like yours and banks and college campuses and frankly anyone who will have us. And so part of that is hiring people with barriers. That might be a criminal record or somebody who needs a little assistance because they have a disability need help working. So we take those people and um, train them how to work. So people like you who are sustainably minded have asked us, well, Goodwill, we really need some green cleaning products. We don't like these harsh chemicals that you're using. So we started doing that for some of our clients. And then we had other clients and our own 30 stores that we were still cleaning these hazardous products. And we thought, whoa, that doesn't make sense. LED light bulb moment. Wait, why don't we just use all these green cleaning products that are plant-based, pH balanced, and biodegradable for everybody? And boom, 90 places in New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine all of a sudden went from harming the environment to helping the environment. Take a breath, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> so for us, that uh, ended up a twofold benefit of we helped those businesses get greener, but also we were able to market ourselves as a green cleaning company, which means that we got to hire more people who had disadvantages and couldn't otherwise find work and train them to, hire, to work for us first, and hopefully you later. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.